Right, we can keep this going here. We got a cannon on two. Kellen, I swear I'm gonna get this name eventually. Oh dear. Points going first. Ooh, dark steel. No action after dark steel. So this could be an insole deck. So we will set up for a turn two Kellen into a triome to set up for this vanishing verse. I know when Saul got some love recently with the indestructible knife from Murders at Markov Manor. It's holding on the thing, yep. Okay. We don't have an untapped white source here. So our best bet is to do this. We will tail the suspect, drop a white source, and pass back. Kellen can destroy artifacts. Mm. Indestructible land does make that quite traumatic though. Inspector gets them a clue. Nice. They tap white and play the novice inspector, who's the Fraven. Oh, there's a second Fraven. Okay, so next turn we can drop a wild growth and vanishing first the end soul, so we should be okay in that regard. Okay, play here, like this. We will get an additional red. Then we will go white, black, vanish first the end soul to slow him down. Then we'll play the wild growth walker. Can block pretty well here. It also scares them because if we have the means to trigger the combo here, we could go straight off. Otherwise, I think we're probably just going to drop a Kellen. Discord Quarry. That's fine with me. Like I said, I like presenting stuff they have to answer. Cryptic Coat, pretty good. Gives them a ward too and we can't block it. Cosmic Reverse is a pretty good thing to buy life here, so let's throw down a Kellen. Then we can play this land tapped. That's back. We've got two cards left in hand, hopefully there's not two more um, Dusk Rose. Plus, we could swing with Kellen here next turn if he survives and kill that Dusk Rose. Make another clue. They've got one card left in hand. And it's Miko's Reign of... Oh, that's terrible, actually. That makes that a 9-8 that can't be blocked. Right, we're going to have to take out the Cryptic Code here. And that was a uh, really good draw from our opponent. Okay, four life. We've got to destroy Cryptic Coat. We need to hopefully get a good top deck. So before combat, let's, uh, let's grab a white. Then we can use this for the Wandering Mind. See what we hit off that. Oh, if we get um, a Clarion, actually, that would have been a huge mistake. Molten Collapse is good. Right. 
So let's go to combat. We can attack with the Kellyan. On his attack trigger, we'll blow up the cryptic coat so that it can't be not blockable. Then it's mostly on what they draw. Man, that ability that I thought was incidental has proven to be really good with Kellen. And I know that Modo wants me to play him because I keep wanting both copies of him in the original opening hand. Alright, let's see what they give. They give it to the Fraven Inspector. That makes it a 6 7. What did they draw? That is the key question here. Alright, they're just going straight into that. Full swing out. Hmm. It might be worth. Okay, so this is how we have to do this. Warning mine has to block here. Kellen has to block. The clue. We have to be efficient with our. The cloak, sorry. The disguise. Okay. That puts us down to two. is considering stuff, I guess. What is their final card? Okay, in the end step, let's see if we bait out something here. It could potentially have interaction. No, they don't. So this is great. So Wondering Mind comes back, digs again. Finds us a Bring to Light. Very good. What do I want with Bring to Light, though? Could just go straight for the... Uh... Well, if I didn't naturally draw it, I could have gone straight for the... You know what, we're gonna roll it out here. Uh, we need black and green. We got to light for five. Hmm. Good Valky. That would help us just run away with the game. think I mean if they get something huge we do still have the you know what I'm gonna grab reborn I still think that's correct reload and give us some options Find bring to light, 
Helix, Cram Sessions, all good options. So we'll move to combat. Now we can attack with Kellen. We can now blow up the Dusk Rose. Oh, it has Ward 2 because that's written so far down I didn't actually see it. Okay, keep telling, that's fine. <sighs> right. Yep. Right, we need, I need, they need to show everything on cards now. So it's currently a 5-5. Five five. They have drawn a spell. Oh no, nope, they're cracking a clue. That is okay. So they get a land, they have two mana left. And they cast a smuggler's copter. Right. So, here's where I think we could pull it back. But how to? Interesting. Clearly intending to reduce the number of creatures that we have. Well, I'm absolutely okay with trading here. Like I said, my whole purpose is to keep them down on creatures. I'll probably have to hold Nib back. We also got to deal with that. Okay. Let's see what we draw. We draw a land. So things first. Let's helix this last creature here. Gain back free life. Then let's shock in. Let's, no, let's not shock in. Let's molten collapse. Destroy the portrait of Miyuko. Then we'll cram session. We'll do this right this time. We'll grab containment breach to blow up an artifact or enchantment. And then we'll pass, we'll hold back a blocker. Spider-Man side glass when it enters they make a map. Not a big deal. Spyglass siren, so they got another siren on top. They're clearly trying to dig for something. So we know what they're drawing next turn. I think we can space them out here. Okay, they draw the siren, so we don't know what's on top of their deck now. But, well, it must have been a land then. Wait. They revealed a siren. That was confusing. Okay, artifact. So destroy artifact or enchantment. Um, do we need? Okay. Abrupt decay is great. Scorn's great. I think no more lies can come out here. Soul search could be interesting. But I don't think it's gonna be. That's good. We'll run, run it back like this. Basically, this is kind of like an aggro matchup. We need them to have a stumbly seven. Then we can get underneath. Or we need a ton of interaction for the big stuff. Because unlike. Um, for example, like a prowess deck that will make two little creatures, but incidentally do you 10 damage through burn. 
this deck is solely around we make one big hard to deal with thing so they want you know the um, the ensouled artifact on an indestructible land they want the reign of Miko moving between different creatures depending on what we can't block so let's see if we can get it done <laughs> I think as um, Abrupt Decay is a good answer to anything they might have, particularly if they've brought in potential counter magic. Cram Sessions is great, Edgar's a good recursable, you can't really deal with it. They, well, they might be able to if they have the uh, indestructible thing. Alright, they have Warden of the Inner Sky. Play this tapped. Three more counters on it as Flying and Vigilance. Tap three untapped artifact creatures you control. Okay. Play the second land, second main phase. Didn't attack in. Spiron. Are they going to explore or are they going to tap? Oh, they tap. Okay. I mean, if we get rid of that, they don't have a lot left. Alright, we'll pass back here. We'll hold up the Abrupt Decay because it's uncounterable. And I guess there could be protection spells. But we'll see. We do need red for these spells that we keep drawing. Invasion of Khan enters the battlefield to do that. Okay, well, we'll just uh, respond with that make it so that's done let's see what they take we do need to potentially stop them getting the invasion of global conflict They are taking their time considering. Interesting, they take Edgar. Yeah, I'm not in a rush here because now they will. Okay, we can play this. We can crown session. containment breach in response to whatever they might play because if they flip the light shield array next turn it's enchantment that we can just blow up okay mana and soul artifact okay what does this do creatures you control that's fine because your map token is not a creature So I'll just blow up the insole. Okay, play this, crack this. Get the red that we're missing. Containment breach. The uh, 
in Soul Artifact. Your Light Shield Array does not protect your enchantments, only your creatures. Yeah, it's your enchantment, not your creature. Thank you for wasting that. <laughs> Opponent pops that to explore. They reveal a Reign of Might. That is unfortunate. Let's see what they do with it. Keep it on top. We're swinging for free, getting us back down to our starting 20. Alright, let's see what we get here. We're getting Amelia Beneferis and Lagoera. Oh, do we start with that? I mean, the Roko Reign of Truth is a plus one plus one right now. So that's totally fine with me. Let's throw down Amelia. And we'll just cram sessions again. We will grab... Let's grab environmental studies. Let's see what Amelia finds us on our explore. Oh, what did we get? Bring to light. Yeah, we'll put that into our graveyard. Then we can just... We'll hit them for one here. If they want to uh, deal with that, they can deal with that. My guess is now they'll be terrified enough to use their removal. A bear, if any bear. Yep, yeah, we're still uh, still significantly ahead of you. Hmm. Nothing done there. Well, let's start with an environmental science then. Yep, see they're holding up counter magic. They're trying to figure out if they should get rid of this. Hmm, they did not get rid of that. How interesting. Okay, let's grab a black. Let's see what Amelia finds us. Hmm, we we'll catch a try on. Okay, we'll play that tapped, and we know they must have something here, so let's just bait it out with this removal spell. Let's let them use their counter or protection. Yeah, no more lies, good. Right, so they can't possibly have the Reign of Truth here. So let's swing in, hit them for however much this is. My god, this is one of the most frustrating things in like these casual games, dude. I'm like, what are you, with one mana, with a sorcery speed deck, using your one counter spell, what are you still holding priority for? Novice Inspector, make some a clue. Odds are they could still have the um, interaction here. Let's just see if they do anything with their mana.
Probably holding more no lies. So we'll play this. Let's play Breakout. See what we find here. Ooh, I'll use a Valky. Yes, I will put him onto the battlefield to see what is in their hand. Alright, let's see what uh, they're so protective of. Metallic Rebuke, Dust Quintry, Mihook. Oh, it's a bunch of counter spells. Nothing to worry about. So let's just. They clearly want to counter our Edgar. They don't have a way to do instant speed damage, so let's just uh, keep forcing them to do stuff. Uh, let's go with basic conjuring. Amelia. Breakout. No, we'll keep Breakout on top because it's fun to find. Okay, so we now have, so they have in their hand, removal. All right, let's just swing in. We're winning the race and we've got tons of life gain. <laughs> yeah, I will happily let my Amelia grow higher. Put some down to nine. We get to look again. Nope, we'll keep that on top. Puts Amelia up to a 5 5 out of the range of their kill spell they've previously used. So now they're probably going to have to use their. Uh... Okay, they got to land. Now they have to play their Mucker right here. Just goes Quandry, yep. Yeah. Now they got to pay free life to use that. I'm okay with that. with the uh, breakout. Put Wandering Mind. We can cast this. We'll just start getting them to use their spells. Oh, they don't want to use it. Interesting. So we know that the hands in their double metallic rebuke and McKinnon's Rage. I'll take a vanishing verse. We'll swing in here, force him to make a block. They're down to six life, so we can easily pull our way back into this. They probably now, though, can't risk attacking with the spyglass siren. Okay, they drew a Fragment Inspector, so we still know their free cards. Okay, they crack that. Oh, they play the Mucko in a Truth. So they do have access to a Metallic Rebuke now. Two Metallic Rebukes in hand. They're going in with that. No, I'm not going to block. So I could take care of either the Spyglass we'll put them down to four. Okay, that change does this change things? One, two, two ward, and three from there. Yeah, that's pretty pretty good. So we'll swing in here, put them down to four. So we either kill that or we kill that. No, I think we kill this. So we'll play black, white. We now know about the ward two because 
This is where we need something like, you know, an arena, they have a ward animation. Like you actually see ward on it. Hmm, they did not do anything interesting. All right, they're gonna pump again. They got less things to pump here. So six damage, we crash back and kill them. We know their two cards are two metallic rebukes, so they really can't attack here. Seems wasteful. Suppose they could draw a card here with the clue and still hold up the rebuke. We go into the land. One, two, three, four, five. We could play for one. So let's go one, two, three. Let's see if we can get both these rebukes out of their hand. So here comes rebuke number one. Okay with that, I will pay free, and then I will tap like this to make you think I have another spell. Okay, review free, I will not pay, nope, okay, two combat, straight into the attack. And our opponent just takes it and dies, because I guess they weren't cool with that. 